Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are smashing out yet another updated changed achievement list from Jitalon in the terms of Dark Grim Mariupolis. Now originally this uh, game would have taken you around 2-3 to three hours but thanks to Jitalon's constant achieving uh, achievement, even changing updates, this can literally be done in little as 5 minutes. Um, uh, a big shout out and a big old F on the keyboard to pay my respects for those first 28 warriors that actually battled through this mysteriously weird game before the update came out. So, oh damn, unlikely there guys and gals. <laughs> Uh, sorry. Uh, also, this is only £4.19 or $4.99 in the US, so that's literally the pay you earn from sitting on the toilet at work for half an hour. Nice! So all that hiding while others do the work does pay off. Full of wonderful advice I am. <laughs> so the achievements are all going to be done in the very first area. You're going to be speaking to a few guys, grabbing a few items while still wondering what in the actual ball sack is going on here. Anyway, <laughs> with that being said then, let us begin. So, you either press, I think it's either the X or the B button, uh, sorry, to skip this first little bit of cutscene right here. And it's definitely one of the two. And there's uh, going to be a little automatic sort of first scene where we end up talking to our first character. Now, to talk to people, if you press the B button, that'll hit their dialogue instantly and then obviously we got to press down on the d-pad to choose a dialogue option ourselves. now for the majority of the time you can just choose the um, top option so now press B and then the uh, dialogue comes up straight away instead of waiting for it all and then obviously it's the a button for us so yeah for the most part we will be picking the top option there's only a couple of times where we'll have to pick a different option of course I'll be commenting all the way through for you lovely people and we come to this first bit then uh, all we got to do is just enter the only doorway that's there if you get confused between a window and a door then well hey I got no help for you I'm sorry <laughs> but uh, we don't need to talk to the doorman or anything here just click the A button as it is a point and click, but you should all know how a point and click works by now. I'm, I'm just damn sure of that. So, yeah, just screw. It. Could you just screw off there, please, mate? Trying to get in the warm here. Right, so first things first, then we'll be talking to the barman, Warlock. So, talk to Warlock first, and that'll get us our first achievement. Uh, again, just uh, click on the top option for the time being. And we'll just wait until the achievement description goes away. Basically, click I want a beer. And then click How are you? Click I want a beer again. You might have to do this about two or three times. And basically, we uh, need an item that he is going to... Before he gives us a drink, sorry. So so click it a few times. Then he, I think he want a fish, I think. Sorry. So we'll need to get a fish for him. Just a little bit. Talk to the man in the middle. The scrub man. <laughs> That's actually a way cooler name for a janitor. Uh, you don't have to talk uh, about him for anything. Now, you actually have to talk to the arrowhead guy there. I made a mistake. I went to the uh, bar below. So, before you head down to the Viking bar, talk to the arrowsmith. Ha! Arrowsmith! That's hilarious. Probably didn't even mean that, but it's still funny. Anyway, now you've talked to him, go to the Viking bar then. It's sort of on the little bit behind him. We'll go down again. We just got a couple of things to do here. Ooh, what the hell are you up to there, boy? Hmm. Anyway, talk to Wolf Phil, Wolf Phil, and you will get us uh, another achievement for talking to Wolf Phil. As soon as the achievement description goes away, we're gonna talk to him again. But this time, make sure to choose the second option. This key on your chest looks anything but Viking. And then choose the top option, yes, yes, the villa. This key makes you look like a maid. Harsh. And then choose the top option again, and this key does not fit your rude viking helmet. Harsh. Again. God damn. But we gotta do what we gotta do to get some stuff. Now have a look at the fish cabinet there, on the left hand side, right by Wolfil. Uh, take the fish, that'll get us yet another achievement. Which, uh... There it is. So we need the fish because we want a goddamn 
weird fish cocktail or, or something. Again, I don't know why. I'm still wondering what in the ball sack is going on myself, to be honest. Herp. So talk to this guy then before we head out. This is the actual doorman we needed to speak to rather than the one at the very beginning. And then press the B button to get out your inventory. Press A to grab the key and press B to get out of your inventory again, by the way. And then of course, press A to unlock the door right there. So we've returned to the bar. All we've got to do now is head to the left a little bit. Give the fish to, uh, which one's this? Warlock, so again, press the B button. Grab the fish with A, press B to get out of your inventory, give it to Warlock. Hell of a name. Hell of a bunch of names, mind, for a weird, mysteriously weird game. But, that, um, all we got to do now is just head to the right the tiniest bit so we can actually see the bloody drink. Thanks for that. Uh, press A on the drink and that will be that. So there we go then guys and gals, that is yet another easy as absolute cheese 100% achievement guide. Well, it's a 100% achievement guide, there's no full game walkthrough for this, it's barely a walkthrough. But that is that then, so that's 10 out of 10, all done. Thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals, I hope this video has helped. And, you know, please let me know in the uh, comment section below, do, do you think what is it on doing is a good thing. We, hey, we're all happy with easy achievement, right? But is it getting a bit too easy? Would you still like a bit of a challenge in some of these games? Or are you just happy to uh, let them keep on doing what they're doing? I mean, you can't beat five minute completions for literally less than a fiver, can you? Anyway, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. I know everyone's got a, a massively different opinion on it. Even better opinions than who to vote for the next US president. Because this is more important, actually. So anyway, yeah, like I said, thanks so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Again, if this video did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, etc, etc. Also on Patreon now as well. So if you head over there, there's plenty of uh, links in the description below. And and you can go over there and you can win some new prizes, etc, etc. It's all explained on there anyway, so go take a look. But a uh, big shout out to TimG84 for continuing to support the show on Patreon. So thank you so, so much for watching again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one then. Big love.